So let's have trial by combat. We are in a war and we have everything inside of us we need to win this war. Everything. And we fight by following our hearts and our minds, not some bullshit narrative fed by social media or the news. Social media where they get all their news from, by the way. Good. Seeing what I see right now, I mean, there's we it's going to be impossible to penetrate this capital from that area. There's just too many police there. And this is this this could not end well. What does this door lead into right here? AOC feet pick stash. The main capital building. They are really trying to get in there. Police chan down. Police chan down or police stand down? That's this is in Oregon right now. The camera says it's always the one with the red border. This woman just said Hitler was right on one thing. Okay, you I feel like there's probably got to be a lot of people throughout history that have said that youth are important. <laughs> of all the people to quote, why, why would that be your go-to? Why would you even know Hitler you said that? I, I, maybe you, I don't know. They just right sat there and watched this guy right here. Oh, yeah. You see him right there with his back. Are, are the, do the protesters have paintball guns and the cops have paintball guns? Last time you were here, your ass ran. Take your gun off, bro. Yeah. 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 Come on. Come on. Touch me. I'm not trying to touch you, bro. Do it. You're the one that threatened me. Do it. Ooh, that guy got fucking yeah. baited. Oh my god, this guy is unbelievably. This guy is unbelievably photogenic. What the fuck? How much do you think this would sell for on eBay? You'd probably get in trouble for trying to sell it, but. Multiple explosive devices have been found. Oh, I would never trust anything uh, written by the New York Post by on its own. If other people are corroborating it, sure. I know that at least one IED, I think somebody said had been found. Destiny, what picket and picture extension for Chrome are you using? It looks know. spaced. Bonus meme, Pepe wins. You gnome fuck! Good meme. Rioters plan to stay inside the Capitol through the night. Not gonna happen. They create! This is Washington. That term to do just what it's doing today. Fifty years later, it's worked perfectly. Everybody is so damn afraid to be called a conspiracy theorist. That's right. As long as there's been people in power, they have conspired together to stay in power. Have they not? Yeah. Have they not? Yeah. That's right, they have. So let me tell you what happened here. First of all, did you know our Secretary of State when Kim Wyman was elected in 2012, she brought with her a nonprofit organization called ERIC. That's an acronym. And it stands for Electronic Registration Information Center. You know what they do? You probably have never heard of them, right? Has anyone ever, just out of curiosity, have you ever heard of them? Okay, you pay for them. What? You pay thousands of dollars a year. Can you imagine what you're paying them to do? Nope. This is what they're supposed to do. They. Are 
Wait, why don't we, I want to listen to the lady speak. Bard's Eye News. We have signed affidavits of people who you could think of. So why don't they clean the voter rolls? They don't clean the voter rolls because it floods the system with ballots they can use, right? Are you with me still? Are you with me? This is important now because we don't want to just be here being rah-rah. We have to be intelligent and understand what happened, and then we have to come together. I might even ask to be bold for us to even come closer together. Because the closer we are, the more powerful we are. There's something- If you wanted to go to DC, is, is Reagan National the closest airport or where would it be? Just curious. Because what is the difference if we're here spending our time and energy if it's not gonna change? Right? right. right. All right. The acting Secretary of State, oh, I'm sorry, the so acting too. Secretary of Defense confirms they it was overreached. Vice President Pence, not Trump, who authorized you know deployment of National Guard. At, at the moment, I don't know who the fuck this guy is, though. Uh, there was I don't know if this is a reliable tweet. Do you notice that when conservatives lose races, we don't riot, scream, smash windows, burn cars, assault people, or need days off of work? It's amazing how mature and civil conservatives are. Please remember this and take notes when we get Trump reelected in 2020. Isn't the normal reaction to, I can't do his voice, to losing an election to riot and burn your own cities? Oh, I forgot. Only leftists do that, don't they? Smiley face. You can know okay, son. Hey, libs. 70 million pissed off Republicans and not one riot. Something to think about. I. Nice typo. If real Donald Trump were to lose, he won't. His supporters will go to work tomorrow, just as we do every day. When Biden loses, his supporters will likely loot and riot. Tells you everything you need to know. Hashtag. Trump 2020. Jesus. All right. What the fuck is going on over here? Wait, is this a... This is old footage, isn't it? There you go. Well, what happened to you? I got maced. You got maced. Yeah, yeah. Right. Right, please. <laughs> and what happened? You were trying to go inside the yeah, Capitol? Yeah, I made it like a foot inside, and they pushed me out, and they maced me. What's your What's your name? Where are you from? My name is Elizabeth. I'm from Knoxville, Tennessee. And why did you want to go in? <laughs> we're storming the Capitol. It's a revolution. Thank you. <laughs> Ma'am? <laughs> well, okay, hold on, real quick. I don't want to talk about this. People keep linking, like, this one video. Okay, be very careful of, like, any video that, like, you see the for one video. I have no idea what the context is of this, where these people are being let into, why the police decided to let them in. Please, please, fuck off. Go, there are other bigger streamers now on this platform. If you want to go and watch somebody talk about how the cops let them all in because they're racist, white nationalists, whatever, please go do that analysis somewhere else, okay? There's plenty of other dipshit places on the internet to do that, okay? Go. Leave. Please, 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 please go, okay? No one wants you here, okay? Least of all me. Seeing this video go around a lot, it's pretty clear there were, there were Trump supporters already on the other side. As the camera swings around, you can literally see those people just walking around the barriers to make it extra clear that permit was not doing anything, and there were already Trump supporters simply walking around it. It's very click clear. Click. There was a complete failure to protect Congress, and there needs to be some serious accountability for that, but this video ain't it. Thank you. People that are, like, spreading around these stupid fucking one-off videos is the number one reason why breaking news is cancerous as fuck, is because, like, people will take, like, these 20-second clips, and, and you have no fucking idea what's going on. People are posting a video with only the six seconds of the gate being open to make it look worse. Yeah, not fucking surprising. Damn straight, Destiny only wants an echo chamber. Oh, I'm sorry. Let me give you the enlightened country you're looking for. Police bad, A cab, Nazi, white nationalist, police bad. If they were black, they would have killed them all. Police bad, white nationalist, police bad. There you go, all right? There are so many other places where you can get that from. Go, go, go there. Hassan was literally telling XQC police letting them in. Yeah, no shit, because Hassan is just here to give hot takes with zero fucking thought behind anything that fucking moron says. It's not surprising. People are posting this video, okay? This perimeter wasn't protecting anything, and it was already breached. 
people were already on the exactly other side. Look, people acting like, before. look, the cops are just but letting them in. Like I saw that stupid fuck tweet this earlier. The cops are just letting them in. And I think Hassan told Slasher that, oh, the cops just let them in. This perimeter was already reached. Look at this video. Watch. There's already people inside. There's already inside. Why are you acting like the cops are just letting them in? They, they're already, they, this perimeter is already reached. And I don't think there's anything important being protected here. Like, look, people were literally just walking around this fucking gate, guys. This wasn't, like, holding anything back. Look at the... Like, like are you even watching? And some people are being more dishonest, apparently, and they're, they're posting, like, six-second clips of this. Easy mode. Like, look, there, there's, are, there's already people on the other side of this. What, you, what the fuck? Police opened the gates for the Capitol rioters. So stupid. You got, man, in some ways, you guys fucking deserve... No, I shouldn't say that. You guys fucked up hard, okay? I hope that a lot of left-leaning media realize that they fucked up hard. There's been a lot of really horrible, stupid shit that Trump has done over the past four years. And I, unironically, I think a lot of it gets trivialized by the dog shit reporting that, honestly, a lot of you guys are responsible for as well. Some of the mainstream media has definitely dropped the ball, too. Watching Trump dump out fucking fish food in front of um, a sh whatever the, the Japanese guy um, when he was meeting him or, or whatever, like, random stupid, like, misprints of stories, for the most part, part i think the mainstream media tries to get it right but man on social media you guys are fucking cancer you are a tumor in, in society right now almost as bad or just as bad as a lot of these fucking insane trumples because every time you misreport shit like this every time you spam social media with these dog shit fucking takes with these out of context clips all you do is give ammunition to the other side to people like my mom who say shit like oh like you know this isn't man how frustrating is it that like when my mom when my mom argues with me about fucking stories about that she's heard on the on, on the media that you guys I didn't say you guys because it's not just MSM that does this it's you guys as well have blown up I hate that I have to agree with her on half of it like one of the stories that she gave me was like oh did you see like the horrible thing um, where where they misreported about that that teenage kid that was approached by the um, by the Indian guy or whatever when that shit was initially reported man that shit was fucked it, they made it sound like some white nationalist teenage rally was like surrounding some poor fucking I don't remember if it was a Hebrew Israelite or, or just an Indian guy or I don't remember but like the 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 framing of that initially was way fucking off. It was way off. Rather than just like, which is true, by the way. Wait, what's true, by the way? It wa that wasn't true. Native American? Indeed. It, w it wasn't true. It was, it was like, it was like, it was like some group of kids were there and then these guys like approached them or whatever. The way that that was framed was totally fucking off, was totally not true. Like, and when you guys spread shit like this, it gives so much ammunition to the other side. Like Trump and his administration have done so many horrible fucking things. You don't have to make anything up. You don't need to spread lies. You don't need to, to make it worse than it already is. Like, fuck, you guys fucked this shit up so hard. These are the things and events that happen when a Trump sacred landslide election victory is so unceremoniously and viciously wrong, stripped away from great patriots illegal. who have been badly and unfairly American. treated for so long. Go home with American love and in peace. Remember this day forever. For months as a do people have the moral right to do this stuff? I mean, in terms of having the moral right to protest, sure. People, have, people always have the right to protest. These people are just fucking crazy. <laughs> What they're protesting is really dumb. How sad is it that these people would rather live in a world where the entirety of the American electoral system has been subverted instead of accepting that their candidate lost? True. Oh, I tried asking my mom that. Yeah, because how do you feel that, like, your, um... <clears throat> Wait, link the Biden speech real quick. I call on President Trump to go on national television now to fulfill his oath and defend the Constitution and demand an end to this siege to storm the Capitol, to smash windows, to occupy offices, the floor of the United States Senate rummaging through desks on the Capitol, on the House of Representatives, threatening the safety of duly elected officials. It's not protest, it's insurrection. Isn't the 25th Amendment, doesn't that have to do with like the president is like sick or something? Or like meant, like, like loses his mind or something? Like, uh, yeah, unable to do his duty. I, I don't think that um, the cabinet can vote to remove him. That unable holds a lot of weight, yeah. When you say Trump is refusing to do his duty right now, I mean, tr like, it, like, I mean, like, spiritually, or like, what's in the, in the idea of being the United States president? I mean, I would of course agree. But like, in terms of like, does he have a, does he actually have like a constitutional duty to talk down protesters protesting on his behalf if he feels he's lost? Or like, like, it gets a lot more hazy, right? I don't know. Oh my god, this is a banger tweet. Holy shit. Stop this bullshit right now. Reaping sucks, make it stop. I'm gonna go back to sewing. Hindsight is 20. Now technically 2020 20 doesn't refer to both eyes, but this is still a banger fucking tweet, right? We got a Trump tweet coming in hot.
I know you're hurt. We had an election that was stolen from us. It was a landslide election. What a fucking moron. And everyone knows it. We have to have peace. So go home. We love you. You're very special. You've seen what happens. You see the way others are treated that are so bad and so evil. I know how you feel. But go home and go home in peace. Can somebody give me the link to the end of his last rally? Because people were saying that at the end of his last rally, he was literally directing people to go march on Capitol Hill. I'm curious if he actually said that. I, I just want to hear that if that's the case. Because if so... My fellow Americans, for our movement, for our children, and for our beloved country, and I say this, despite all that's happened, the best is yet to come. So we're going to... We're going to walk down Pennsylvania Avenue. I love Pennsylvania Avenue. And we're going to the Capitol, and we're going to try and give... You know, the Democrats are hopeless. They're never voting for anything. Not even one vote. But we're going to try and give our Republicans, the weak ones, because the strong ones don't need any of our help, we're tr going to try and give them the kind of pride and boldness that they need to take back our country. So let's walk down Pennsylvania Avenue. I want to thank you all. God bless you and God bless America. Thank you all for being here. This is incredible. Thank you very much. I know that like the chains of command are complicated or maybe not. I, like, how do you not, how are you not ready for this? I'm so curious what the failure was today at the Capitol that they weren't ready for. that they weren't ready for this, knowing there was a Trump rally two miles away. Like, do you not think they just didn't think they would go this far? I don't understand why you wouldn't have like full fucking like riot gear, tear gas, like who cares what you think? Like this, if there was any time to take precautions about like shit like this happening, it seems like it would be now, right? What are you supposed to do with thousands of people pushing into the building? Most part of, yeah, I don't, I'm not sure. I guess I don't, I don't know what the, yeah, I'm not sure. Trump called the National Guard, though. The National Guard should have been here, okay? Yesterday, like... Misinformation, seriously. We have protesters storming the fucking Capitol building. That's insane, guys. If only these people worked as hard for themselves as they do for Trump now. People. The acting Secretary of Defense acknowledging that he and the Joint Chiefs Chairman did not discuss deploying the National Guard with President Trump, or rather with Vice President Prince and congressional... Just scuffed tonight. Chairman Milley... And I just spoke separately with the Vice President, with Speaker Pelosi, Leader McConnell, Senator Schumer, and Representative Hoyer about the situation at the U.S. Capitol. We have fully activated the D.C. National Guard to assist federal and local law enforcement as they work to peacefully address the situation. We are prepared to provide additional support as necessary and appropriate as requested by local authorities. Our people are sworn to defend the Constitution and our democratic form of government, and they will act accordingly. Chosen sowing incompetence in the duty for four years, probably a culmination of incompetence and pro-Trump military officials. I, it just doesn't make sense. So just for an update, so today was the day that the election results, all the electors are certifying, the, or Congress is certifying the election results from the Electoral College. People, there's this weird conspiracy that isn't even possible, but there's this weird conspiracy that Pence potentially, that Pence potentially has the ability to just lie about the vote count. People are memeing that like, well not memeing, people unironically believe that Pence could just lie about the votes that he could just say like oh here's a dominion voting machine lol i counted it and trump wins and that nobody would have the power to overrule that people like trump actually believed this trump unironically believed this that pence could just lie about the vote counts and that trump would become the president and no one could say anything this is like their last hope um i don't know if this is QAnon shit or where this comes from but but after pence didn't do this or pence i guess signaled that he wasn't going to just lie about the votes trump tweeted out that like, you know, fuck Pence, he didn't help us. And then after his rally this morning, um, he told people after the rally, like, all right, let's go march on fucking Capitol Hill. Let's see if we can bully some of these weak Republicans into, I don't, I don't know what, filibustering the election or, or I don't, I don't know. I don't, I, don't I, can't, I can't even imagine what he could think the Republican senators can do or, or anybody can do at this point. I don't know. I have no idea. Like, they can't do anything. He lost the election. They, like they, they, they lost in the courts. They lost in the Supreme Court. They lost in the in the voting booth. They like they've just lost the election. I don't, I don't know what they could possibly do at this point. Or what Trump thinks they could do. Um, did you expect it to get this bad? Um, 
Um, I, I, I mean, if I would have known there was a Trump rally this morning, like, yeah. I don't understand, um, I don't understand. I don't understand how they weren't more prepared. I'm so confused. Where are they going? What are they gonna do? USA! USA! Maybe I'm just jaded by all the protests and riots this year. But this seems pretty normal for a protest. Am I just blackpilled or does anyone else think this is pretty tame? Well, it is now that people have been removed from the fucking Capitol building, but prior to that, no, it was pretty insane. Excuse me, sir. What do you think of boomers? What do you think of boomers? Fuck boomers! Yeah! Hey, fuck you! Fuck you! I don't even know who is on whose side anymore. They're the same side. They're trying to fucking stop us. Fuck boomers. They signed NAFTA. They allowed Mexicans to come here en masse. They allowed the 60s and 70s yeah. immigration control. They allowed seller. everyone to come in here. They Hard seller. Oop, there's a Fuentes fan in the background. They hog buildings, they hog houses, they hog boats. They're fucking greedy pieces of shit. Fuck boomers. One bullet for every fucking boomer. Day of the pillow, motherfucker. Holy shit. Open up. A pro-Trump stop the steel march is being held right now in Tokyo. <laughs> Why? Am I... Is it a meme? Oh, fucking Tiffany Trump fucking <laughs> posting a happy birthday to her fucking brother. <laughs> happy birthday! Like an hour ago. God damn. That timing. How did the people get through? Like, what did the police do to stop them? I don't know what the fuck the planning was for this, but they, they just were not, absolutely not ready for this. They did not have anywhere near the number of, like, federal agents on hand. Fe federal? Would you call National Guard federal agents? Or they, since they're state entities? I don't know how you refer to them. They needed, like, National Guard, like, before anything happened. They were just, they super dropped the ball on all of this. I, I don't know how. Um, I don't know how they were so ill-prepared. Stop saying, how oh, many times do I have to bring up the same fucking point? <sighs> the DOD did deny them the use of the National Guard. I'm not talking about the National Guard request fucking one hour after the building's already been fucking breached. I'm talking about like days beforehand, this shit should have been arranged. That's what I'm talking about. I'm not talking about a request made while the fucking, like, while the inbreds are fucking storming the fucking capital. I'm saying like before, this should have been set up like way, 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 way beforehand. Do you think calling it a coup is useful optics, you even if it's not technically true? I mean, like, it's not Being really a coup, but you should probably call it a coup so because people are trying money. to overthrow, like, a democratic Bonus elected leader. Pepe always wins. Don't mischaracterize me. I'm just saying, if the election fraud actually happened, I'd personally, personally find this to be a justified riot. I was wondering if Destiny felt the same. They have gone through the appropriate channels, love him or hate him, Trump is justified in challenging whatever the fuck he wants in our courts. That's what our courts are for. They went through the courts and they lost. Time to pack it up and get the fuck out. You lost. That's it. You packed your own federal courts with conservative picks. You packed your own Supreme Court, not court packing, but like you have your own Supreme Court picks on your federal circuits, on your Supreme Court, and you still lost. It's time to pack it up and leave. There is no fraud. It's Sorry, amazing. it's gone. There's no fraud. They couldn't find any. None of the videos, none of the affidavits, none of the bullshit QAnon claims, none of the crazy fucking bullshit that anybody's talking about ended up panning out when a judge actually looked at the evidence. Okay? Oh my god. I know, Destiny, I was just saying that if the fraud was proven, well, yeah, if the fraud was proven, then we'd have a whole other problem. If fraud was proven and the courts were like, not doing anything about it, then yeah, of course. Destiny forgets that BLM burned half the country. I'm not forgetting BLM burned half the country. First of all, they didn't, first of all, half the country, that's a lot of shit to burn that they missed, okay? Number two, I'm not forgetting that. I literally just said that when BLM people were like attacking certain buildings, that cops were backed up and some of them were like in lobbies and shit as well. So I don't, but that's why I said specifically, I don't know what standard operating procedure is for stuff like this. Everybody likes to pretend that they could fucking come in and, and go like the, the no Russians mission of Call of Duty and just clear all this shit out. But in reality, I'm sure there's like a complicated chain of command and, and a complicated set of considerations when it comes to like dealing with protesters like what if you shoot one or two people like okay i'm i'm bullshitting like not bullshitting hold on i'm just following hypotheticals here because i could be totally wrong i just don't know and these are things that maybe they consider that maybe we don't consider right what if 
Pe when people come into the building, I talk to you. What if there's only like a hundred people that are willing to go into the building? And then they come in, and then you say, if you come further, we shoot. And then you shoot, there's a hundred people there, whatever. What if you're all the way at the entrance where there are thousands of people? And then you say, if you come in and we'll shoot, we shoot. Maybe there's a way higher potential that if you shoot right at the entrance and one person goes down, thousands of people start swarming in because they're enraged and then they see somebody die. Maybe these are considerations that are taken into account when it comes to crowd control and, 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 and holding like premiers like this. I don't know if that's true or not. I'm just saying that there's probably a so lot of considerations that go into stuff like this. Like, not sure if I'm misunderstanding or you're misunderstanding me. I understand what Destiny's position is. I just think but it's a bit hypocritical that he's denouncing rioting in this instance. I'm denouncing rioting in that I do not agree with the cause they're rioting for. But I'm not denouncing the concept of rioting. Is that really that hard to understand? Like, I support people's right to protest, and I support people's rights to riot against public institutions, even like the Capitol building. It's like, it's a very, very, very powerful form of, of sending a message to Washington, right? Like, this kind of stuff is like very important, arguably, to like American freedom. But I, that doesn't mean I have to support everything that people are, all the causes that people riot for. I think that in this case, these people are rioting to destroy our democracy, which is oddly, um, uh, ironic, I guess. Oh, but Oregon, you're gonna miss it. It's almost done. Damn, Trump's Twitter account getting temporarily suspended. I, Do you think Trump is worried he's gonna get banned from Twitter on the 21st? I, whatever she was oh, no. Can you not agree with the sentiment that people are angry that there is no hard pushback, even when it's late, but I agree with you people are turning this into bizarre. What, what, what hard pushback? Listen. I don't know what hard pushback you're waiting for, or what do you, what do you expect? Dustin, do you think the Dems should pursue action to make a lot of the White House norms of Trump broke and make them into law? Hopefully, yeah, maybe, yeah. But I don't, I don't even know where that process would begin. I don't know constitutionally where those powers flow from. I don't know what would have to happen in the Congress or the Supreme Court. Like To be clear, without begging the question, do you believe there was a difference outside of the unpreparedness and treatment between these rioters and the BLM rioters? And what do you think the reason why that is? I don't know. I haven't seen enough. I mean, how, how many people at the end of the day are going to be arrested from this versus any of the BLM protests? I'm not sure. Oh, why don't you go move to the Confederacy? Oh, wait, it's not a country anymore. I'm ignorant? You're supporting a country that doesn't exist anymore. Your grandpa probably fought in the Confederacy. Actually, honey, he fought for the Union. I come from a line of winners. Sorry, sugar. And you know what? He came from right here in Weatherford. He had the balls to move north and fight. Oh, I'm so sorry yours didn't. I guess that's why you voted for Trump. You come from a long line of losers, don't you? Jesus Christ. You missed a caller blaming Antifa? Yeah, that's running around right now on a lot of social media. Some guy earlier on fucking Instagram. I don't know who the fuck any of these people are. Remember, Antifa openly planned to dress as Trump supporters and cause chaos today. Propaganda is real. This is from Rogan O'Handley. I don't know who the fuck this guy is. Do these look like Trump supporters or leftist agitators disguised as Trump supporters? Like, Jesus. My grandma and mom think it was Antifa today. Nice. Do you Wait, I just realized that I'm so stupid. I used to criticize things like, I remember like The Walking Dead and stuff. Um, I used to be like, oh, it's so dumb. Like there's fucking zombies everywhere, but it's all just like politics and shit. Like wouldn't the focus of this show, isn't it supposed to be on like the zombies? Like why does nobody care about that in the later seasons? But I guess like a virus like that rages for more than three months is gonna get boring. So people just turn to politics anyway. Like we literally like, we don't even give a fuck about coronavirus shit anymore. We're just like talking politics. Like no one cares. Like half these motherfuckers could be dead in two weeks, but they don't really give a fuck about it. <laughs> so I guess, I guess maybe it makes sense. Maybe that's how the real world works. Percent just to enforce power. It's all about control, all of it. None of these people are actually concerned about a pandemic or a virus. Give me a break. Tell you what, if this were like the movie The Stand and people really were dropping dead, it would, there wouldn't be this, this ability to have this much order to where we're looking at like 1984 authoritarianism right here. Oh, this is, it, things would be chaos. Back to your Nobody on Trump's side that has any brains would have done that because they know this is part of the process. So it was probably some agent provocateurs that were slipped in and then uh, some people that were misguided or just thought, oh, this is what we're doing. Okay, let's follow them and went and breached. It wasn't a siege. <laughs> Whatever they did. Um, well, if that was, if, Khalid, if that was the case, why did the president say to, to those people that they need to be peaceful and that they need to go home? Because if he doesn't, he'll be crucified. Whatever he does, he'll be crucified in the media. That's why, because y'all are biased and it's obvious. I can watch a speech two seconds later, turn on the TV and hear something that did not happen. When I watch it, I, I'm not stupid. I'm okay. an educated person. I was in the military, two branches of the military. I was an officer with the 101st Airborne, served in Iraq. You can't tell me what I'm watching is not what I see. It's calm there. Look at the look at the video right now. 
Are there people there burning things? Well, the complex has been cleared now. And if you're watching um, speeches, remarks on C-SPAN, you'll see them in their entirety uh, without interruption and without analysis. Uh, Mike Mamouli, a political reporter, uh, tweets out a statement by a quote from a statement from President George W. Bush. This is how election results are disputed in a banana republic, not our democratic republic. I'm appalled by the reckless behavior of some political leaders since the election. On one hand, I want to get mad at Trump for not saying, or I want to get mad at Bush for not saying Trump's name. But on another hand, it's not just Trump. It is a, it is a lot of the Republican leaders. I just, oh, uh, man. Based be neoliberal post. A lot going wrong today, uh, but at least Trump's supporters have finally worked out that building a wall doesn't work. Certainly <laughs> there were people in, in consultation with Leader Hoyer and Whip Clyburn, and after calls to the Pentagon, the Justice Department, and the Vice President, we've decided we should proceed tonight at to the Capitol once it is cleared for use. Today, a shameful assault was made on our democracy. It was anointed. You highest level of government. Fuck. Cannot, however, deter us from responsibility. I wasn't the even subject Biden. to you. Congress you is fuck. back. We always knew that we'd be part of history in a positive way today, despite ill founded objections to the Electoral College fuck. vote. We will now be part of history. Such a shameful picture of our country is put out to the world, instigated at the highest level. Today, January 6th, the Feast of Epiphany. You what is the fuck. fuck is that? Is that some Catholic holiday, or what does that mean? Do you know how many um, <clears throat> objections they got through before they did it? They didn't get through any, right? Wait, um, I thought they got through like two or three, didn't they? Like they got through a few votes. It's three Did Kings they? Day. Oh, people are saying the... they. Oh, Dan, they started one. They were on the first. Okay. So here's the question: Do you think they'll keep going and challenging the other ones, or do you think they'll just say fuck it and get it done, like Holly and all these other dudes? I don't know. Good question. Two states and one objection to a state. How long do they have to sit and listen to the objection? Two hours each. Jesus. Damn, it's gonna look real bad to do objections now. Maybe, yeah. The lady that got shot was trying to crawl through a window to get into some hallway that I'm assuming she was supposed to be in. I saw the, there was another angle of the Have you seen the video of the shooting? Do you think it was justified? I think so, only if there was like a VIP in the door. They literally said, don't come in the hallway and the lady crawls through the fucking window, dude. I have very, very, very low sympathy in a video game for anybody like that. I, dude, I, I'm not saying they should have started shooting people like in the main room, but like, I'm surprised they let anybody into the fucking building, period. Like, I could have seen them holding at the, at the front of the building, period. But... I know that like for other protests, for like BLM shit or whatever, there've been other state houses where people have like made it into the entrance. I remember watching the one where people were throwing in like the gas bombs and the police were backed up on the stairs and shit. So I don't know what SOP is for stuff like this. I, I don't know what you're supposed to do for crowd control, especially when they have such a limited number of officers. All day you've been bombarded with images. Seven minutes of this fucking moron talking. Of what has taken place in Washington. Too little time has been spent thinking about why. Anyone who's trying to understand the significance of what's going on right now ought to watch the video of the woman who was shot inside the U.S. Capitol this afternoon. In the footage, which we're not going to show you because it's too upsetting, but you can find it on the internet, the woman is standing in a hallway right off the House floor at the center of the Capitol building. She appears to be in her 20s. She's got Wait, this isn't going to show people dying, right? He said it's too upsetting. An American flag tied around her neck. The scene around her is chaotic. People are bumping into each other, yelling, trying to get through the door into the Senate chamber. Suddenly, with no warning, there is gunfire. You hear a shot, and the woman falls. She's been hit with a bullet. Seems like the neck could be the chest. Apparently, it was fired by someone in law enforcement. People in the hallway scream. The camera closes in on the woman's face. She looks stunned. She I can't believe they shot me for breaking it. You know what? I bet she was stunned. You know what she was probably thinking in her final moments? God damn, why am I so fucking stupid? What the fuck did I think was going to happen if I stormed the fucking Capitol building? I'm actually a fucking lunatic. She's staring straight ahead, unblinking. In her eyes, you can see that she knows she's about to die, which in the end she did. The woman died a couple of hours ago at a local hospital. So what can we learn from this? In a video game. Yes. It's not enough to call it a tragedy. Imagine for a second getting the call and learning that was your daughter. The last time you spoke to her, she was heading to Washington for a- Just real quick, so if you've seen the video, we're not obviously gonna watch on stream, but like, they were literally crawling through a fucking window where there were federal agents on the other side with guns that I'm guessing, now this is my conjecture, because maybe that's not happening, because this is breaking news. I'm guessing they were probably saying, stay back, don't come in here. She decided to crawl through the window that they'd broken through to get into the next hallway, and then they shot her. But <clears throat> they were not crawling. They, the video that I saw, 
they were like trying to like climb into uh, crawling in, uh, on a thing. I don't know how you would describe it. They're like climbing into like a broken window on a door. That's what I saw through a barricaded door. Sure. I don't know if you'd call that climbing or not. Political rally. Now she's dead. You'll never talk to her again. Seriously, imagine that. If you have children, it will put you in the right frame of mind. That's what we're watching. And we may be watching a lot more of it in the coming days. Political violence begets political violence. That is always true. It is an iron law. It never changes. And we have to be against that. No matter who commits the violence or under what pretext. No matter how many self-interested demagogues assure us the violence is justified or necessary, as they have been assuring us, lying to us for the past six months. We have a duty to oppose all of this, not simply because political violence kills other people's children, which it does, but because in the end it- Okay, everybody that dies is somebody's child, okay? Unless we're fucking growing people in test tubes right now. Metal Gear Solid 1, spoiler alert coming up. Well, no, actually, they weren't growing in test tubes. They were in the, um... Wait, who does give birth? Oh, it's Eva, right? I think. Oh, spoiler alert, sorry. Doesn't work. No good person will live a happier life because that girl was killed in the hallway of the Capitol today. So our only option as a practical matter is to fix what is causing this in the first place. We don't have a choice. You may have nothing in common with the people on the other side of the country. Increasingly, you probably don't, but you're stuck with them. The idea that groups of Americans will somehow break off into separate, peaceful nations of like-minded citizens, that's a fantasy. That will not happen. There is no such thing as a peaceful separation. There never has been and there won't be. The two hemispheres of this country are inseparably intertwined. They are co-joined twins. Neither can leave without killing the other. So that's the first thing to know. As horrifying as this moment is, we have no option but to make it better, to gut it out. The second thing to consider, and it's related to the first, is why the woman who was killed today went to the rally in the first place. We don't know anything about her, but she did not look particularly radical. She bore what, what does that mean? What is a radical per like, because she's white? I don't know, I am so confused. What the fuck that, she didn't, she didn't have tattoos? What do you, how do you look radical? Spoiler alert, anybody that has a fucking Trump 2020 sticker on the back of their car looks like a fucking radical to me, okay? For no resemblance to the angry children we have seen again and again wrecking our cities. Pasty, entitled nihilists dressed in black, setting fires, spray painting slogans on statues. She didn't look like that. The woman in the Capitol hallway looked pretty much like everyone else. So why was she there on a Wednesday? Why were any of them there today? We ought to think about that. If you want to fix it, you have to think about that. The only reason this country is rich and successful is because for hundreds of years we have enjoyed a stable political system. And the only reason that system is stable is because it's a democracy. It responds to voters. Democracy is our pressure relief valve. As long as people sincerely believe they can change things by voting, they stay calm. They don't storm the Bastille. They don't burst into the House chamber. They talk and they organize and they vote. But the opposite is also true. If people begin to believe that their democracy is fraudulent, if they conclude that voting is a charade, that the system is rigged and it's run in secret by a small group of powerful, dishonest people who are acting in their own interests. Wait, PogChamp is gone? <laughs> oh man, goodbye. Then God knows what could happen. Actually, we do know what could happen. It's happening right now. It's happened in countless other countries over countless centuries, and the cycle is always the same because human nature never changes. Listen to us, screams the population. Shut up and do what you're told, reply their leaders. In the face of dissent, the first instinct of illegitimate leadership is to crack down on Your the population. Your Twitter comments resulted but in crackdowns no never make it better. Trump's comments Instead, they always make the country more ban. volatile and Maybe more dangerous. Try the people in charge really understand that. They don't standards. want to. They don't care to learn or listen because all of this conversation is a referendum on them and their leadership. Day one versus day 1448. 
We gather today due to a selfish man's injured pride and the outrage of his supporters whom he has deliberately misinformed for the past two months and stirred to action this very morning. What happened here today was an insurrection incited by the president. Nobody cares. Listen, for Republicans that tacitly or implicitly or explicitly supported Trump all this time, and Romney is one of them, fuck off, okay? Even if he comes out and he showboats on a little speech every now and then, all right? They don't get to walk it back now, okay? Fuck these Republicans. Do you think history will remember this day as a failed coup? I don't really know if this counts as a coup, if the more that I think about it. Because, like, there wasn't, like, an organized force behind this. Like, worst case scenario, like, a bunch of dipshit rednecks go into the White House and then... It's not like they're... Like, realistically, nothing could possibly happen that is overthrowing our government with this march, right? I don't know if that, I don't know if that counts as a coup. Um, I mean, like, people want a coup, I think, but I don't think they have, like, a body behind them to do it. Like, Trump is, like, pushing people to coup, but he's, like, not actually, like, he doesn't have anything to do, at least. He doesn't have the military, like, it's, yeah, it's less like a coup and more like a coup circus. Can you clarify what makes Romney a simp? The only things I've heard about this are his opposition to Trump. You know what? I could be wrong about Romney. I feel like I looked up Romney in the past. I feel like he gives a lot of strongly harsh critique towards Trump. But the only time he'll ever vote against Trump is when there's no chance that that legislation or like Supreme Court nomination or whatever would fail anyways. So like Romney will come out and he'll act all big and tough. But then when it comes time to vote, if it's a vote that counts, he's always voting in line with Trump. But like, so, but then sometimes he'll, like, like he voted for impeachment or whatever. But like, they, there was never passing. Republicans definitely have strong opinions, like, and their opinions are often contested. This hot take was brought to you by Mans Addicted. Good one. State and local law enforcement. The violence was quelled. The capital is secured, and the people's work continues. We condemn the violence, that, and as we reconvene in this chamber, the world will again witness the resilience and strength of our democracy. For even in the wake of unprecedented violence and vandalism at this capital, the elected representatives of the people of the United States have assembled again on the very same day to support and defend the Constitution of the United States. So may God bless the lost, the injured, and the heroes forged on this day. May God bless all who serve here and those who protect this place. And may God bless the United States of America. Let's get back to work. The United States Senate will not be intimidated. We will not be kept out of this chamber by thugs, mobs, or threats. We will not bow to lawlessness or intimidation. We are back at our posts. We will discharge our duty under the Constitution and for our nation. And we're going to do it tonight. This afternoon, Congress began the process of honoring the will of the American people and counting the Electoral College votes. We fulfill this solemn duty every four years. For more this is a punished McConnell, betrayed by his president. Stephanie Grisham, the first lady's chief of staff, former White House press secretary, submitted letters of recognition of today's violence to Capitol Hill. It's been an honor to serve the country in the White House. I'm very proud. Okay, real quick, real quick, real quick, real quick, real quick, real quick, real quick. Fuck these people, okay? Fuck these people, all right? Do they... Everybody knew where this was going. They're only starting to jump ship now because it's becoming like electorally unpopular. They, these, it's not for their values. It's not for anything they give a fuck about. These motherfuckers are spineless motherfucking pieces of shit, okay? Fuck them. Fuck them. Fuck them, fuck them, fuck them, fuck them, fuck them. Why did South Carolina, Florida, Ugh. and Louisiana do it? To hold the country hostage to end reconstruction. Lindsey Graham. It worked. This is Lindsey Graham, right? The commission was uh. eight to seven. It didn't work. Nobody accepted it. The way it ended is when Hayes did a deal with these three states. You give me the electors, I'll kick the Union Army out. The rest is history. It led to Jim Crow. If you're looking for historical guidance, this is not the one to pick. <laughs> if you're looking for a way to convince people there was no fraud, Having a commission chosen by Nancy Pelosi, Mitch McConnell, and John Roberts is not going to get you to where you want to go. <laughs> it ain't going to work. So it's not going to do any good. It's going to delay, and it gives credibility to a dark chapter of our history. That's why I'm not with you. But I will fight to my death for you. You're able to object. You're not doing anything wrong. Other people have objected. I just think it's a uniquely bad idea to delay this election. Uh, Trump and I, have, we've had a hell of a journey. I hate it then this way. Oh my God, I hate it. From my point of view, he's been a consequential president. But today, first thing you'll see. All I can say is uh, count me out. Enough is enough. 
I've tried to be helpful, but when the Wisconsin Supreme Court ruled four to three that they didn't violate the, Supreme, uh, the Constitution of Wisconsin, I agree with the three, but I accept the four. If Al Gore could accept five, four, he's not president. I can accept Wisconsin four to three. Pennsylvania, it went to the Second Circuit. So much for all the judges being in Trump's pocket. True. They said, no, you're wrong. I accept the Pennsylvania Second Circuit that Trump's lawsuit wasn't, wasn't right. Georgia, they said the Secretary of State took the law in his own hands. He changed the election laws unlawfully. Federal judge said, no, I accept the federal judge even though I don't agree with it. Fraud. They said there's 66,000 people in Georgia under 18 voted. How many people believe that? I asked, give me 10 and I had one. They said 8,000 felons in prison in Arizona voted. Give me 10. I hadn't gotten one. Does that say there's, there's problems in every election? I don't buy this. Enough's enough. We got to end it. Vice President Pence, what they're asking you to do, you won't do because you can't. You talk about interesting times. I associate myself with Rand Paul. How many times will you hear that? <laughs> the mob has done something nobody else could do to get me and Rand to agree. Rand is right. If you're a conservative, this is the most offensive concept in the world that a single person could disenfranchise 155 million people. The president of the Senate shall, in the presence of the Senate and the House of Representatives, open all certificates and the vote shall then be counted. The person... <laughs> What? Seeing some people say this in private to protect themselves, so I'll say it out loud. There is a direct line from the game industry and media's failure in addressing Gamergate to the right-wing terrorism we're seeing today, period. Thanks for liking the tweet, everybody. Check out my SoundCloud. Jesus, fuck. ...having the greatest number of votes for president shall be president. Where in there does it say Mike can say, I don't like the results. I want to send them back to the states. I believe there was fraud. To the conservatives who believe in the Constitution, now is your chance to stand up and be counted. Originalism, count me in. It means what it says. So, Mike, Mr. Vice President, just hang in there. They, they said we can count on Mike. All of us can count on the Vice President. You're going to do the right thing. You're going to do the constitutional thing. You got a son who flies F-35s. You got a son-in-law who flies F-18s. They're out there flying so that we can get it right here. There are people dying to my good friend from Illinois to make sure we have a chance to argue among ourselves. And when it's over, it is over. It is over. The final thing, Joe Biden. I've traveled the world with Joe. I hoped he lost. I prayed he would lose. He won. He's the legitimate president of the United States. I cannot convince people, certain groups, by my words, but I will tell you by my actions, that maybe I, among any, above all others in this body, need to say this. Joe Biden and Kamala Harris are lawfully elected and will become the president and the vice president of the United States on January the 20th. Majority Leader. Mr. President, I yield back the balance of our time. All time has expired. The question is, shall the objections submitted by the gentleman from Arizona, Mr. Gozar, and the senator from Texas, Mr. Cruz, and others be sustained? Do they need a unanimous vote? Otherwise, it goes on to more arguing, or what, how much of a vote do they need to end this shit? What if, Mr. like, Cardin. what if a senator went to the bathroom? Somebody else screamed yes or no in their Carper. place. Why did it take so long for the National Guard to get deployed? Mr. Well, supposedly, Trump was saying no, and it was Pence who had to okay it at the end, I guess. Miss Cortez shit was, Masto. This was super fucked. Everything about today was super Mr. fucked. Mr. Kramer. 47 Mr. more Thune. states to go. Six objections are expected. Oh, so this is just for Arizona, and then Mr. there's going to be six more objections. Or four or five or six Mr. or whatever, Toomey. depending on how many people change their mind. Oh, yeah, fuck this.
Jesus Christ, what happened? Gutex. Will there be civil unrest for the woman who was executed inside the Capitol today, or will the mega martyr die in vain? The video will be aired soon on band.video and the resistance.video, and it sounds pretty gruesome. P.S. Big Brother Twitter wouldn't let me post the URL, so if you don't think big tech censorship is real, there you go. Jesus Christ. What a Street Fighter do do to a man. Street Fighter 5. And a Fuck. lot about law from him. Hey, did you see that slasher tweet about Twitch TOS? A Twitch spokesperson has provided me a statement on today's events reiterating that streamer is not allowed to show content that incites or glorifies violence or shows gore of any kind on the platform. Nice. If you got your leg cut off, you wouldn't just pray. We do not make exceptions for newsworthiness. We've made the decision to remove the PogChamp emote following statements from the face of the emote, encouraging further violence after what took place in the Capitol today. About the sentiment and the use of Pog to live on, its meaning is much bigger than the person depicted in the internet and has a place in Twitch culture where we can't conscious can Wait, hold on. Encouraging further violence. Was, it, was did he really encourage further violence? That's not really a fair statement. I mean, like, he obviously did some crazy he's saying crazy shit, but did, wait, what was his original tweet again? Let's read it. Maybe. I'm trying to, maybe he did, I don't remember. We should read the original, let's find out again. Will there be civil unrest for the woman who is executed inside the Capitol today or will the magma die in vain? The video will be in soon. I don't, I don't know if I would say a call for violence, but will there be civil unrest? This counts as a call to violence? This doesn't count as a call to violence. You want to remove his emo because the guy is fucking insane and everything. I think that's fine, but th this is... I don't know. If, I don't know. Encouraging civil unrest? Well, civil unrest isn't necessarily supposed to be violent, no. Did the video we mentioned call for violence? I'm not sure. I Remember to hit that like and subscribe, and don't forget the notification bell so that my videos show up right in your feed. So anyway, that's how America's going today. How is the uh, how's the rest of the world doing?